Teta Elizabeth's youngest child, a three-year-old named Christopher, suddenly dies. He was born with a congenital hip problem that made it impossible for him to walk. <laughs> None of the family is really worried about Christopher's death except for his mother. She has begged her neighbors for for money to give the kind of burial he would got would, would have gotten back in Lithuania. So in the meantime, Jurgis has been looking for work all this time. Finally, he realizes that he has no other choice, that he has to go look at their hands for the life plant. The reason that this is the last resort is that the fertilizer plant is unbel unbelievably unhealthy for its workers. <clears throat> the problem with inhaling this dust is that it is loaded with phosphates, phosphorus, and is unnecessary for bone development. This does cause certain sickness and death, but Jurgen has no choice. He is eventually hired as a fertilizer plant. His job is to shovel fertilizer into carts. The family then decides to send the, boy, the two boys back to school in the fall. Tera Elisbieta finds a job making sausages. She has a lot of trouble at first with headaches because she has to stand basically motionless the entire day running these sausage machines. It's endlessly repetitive, tedious work, but they have to do it to support their families. I need a job. Really? Where, where, where do you live? I live at my house. Oh, really? Yeah. You need a job? You're hired, yeah. man. Really? Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. He's hired, guys! Hey boss. Whoa, you weak, bro. Throw this on. Sheesh. This man smells like crazy dog.